All right, guys, what's up? This is Paul here, back for some more Pokemon X Wonderlock Challenge on the Nintendo 3DS. Last episode, we lost our friend Froki. I know it's hard for me to handle as well as you guys, but we did gain Quagsire, the legend who uh, managed to save us from despair. And we have a pretty solid looking team right now. I managed to get a Trap Inch in a Wonder Trade, which is absolutely fantastic because Flygon is absolutely someone you do not want to mess with while you're playing Pokemon. So we head on up to route number 10. I believe there's a couple of trainers for us to beat. What up dog, you wanna fight me? I wanna fight someone. Special energy you say? We've already caught our encounter here so we can't catch anything else but if we get through here, oh my god, a bunch of freaking nose pass. And this is where I take my leave. Man, I'm not taking those guys on when they are sticked. Straight ahead. Ooh, it's Team Flare. Stop right there, I remember you. Sometimes my voice goes like that and I really can't be bothered correcting it, so I'll just end up speaking in tongues. Anyway, here we go. Team Flare Grunt, let's see what he has. He has a Hound Door. Hound Door is dark. And Dark is not someone I want to be messing with right now, so if we can send out our buddy Quagsire, that would be fantastic to take this guy out. Drinking some chocolate milk. I have to say, chocolate milk is absolutely fantastic. I don't shut up about it enough in my videos, but... Oh wow, I actually don't even have a water move. I know I don't talk. I know I don't shut up about chocolate milk, but if I had the opportunity to drink one thing in the world, it probably would be water. But chocolate milk would be a close second or third. Cold bat. Uh, I guess we can use rock sled because rock beats flying. There we go. You get it? If you throw a rock at a bird, it'll fly down or it'll, like, I don't even know. All right, hurry up. There we go. Trap Inch's 3D sprite makes him look like a badass. Holy crap, man, I didn't think he was that cool. Another bait. Another, another uh, super effective attack from me on the dude. Bye. See ya. There we go. Not too shabby at all. Ooh, dig. That's a good move. So I think I'll get rid of Mud Slap for that. Mud Slap isn't that west. Yeah, isn't that great of a move to have. So I'll just continue with that and see what we can do. Bestow. What does that do? I have no idea why I would use that. I guess it could be useful. If you have like a toxic orb or something on you that inflicts damage, but it's single player. It really doesn't need to be that complicated. Let's see. Ooh, a uh, hollow clip. Or oh, it's not mine. Oh no. Off he goes into the into the unknown. Can I even go up here? Um. I was thinking yesterday about the... Ooh, uh, Holucha. I honestly think Holucha is one of the best designed Pokemon of this generation. The freaking Luchador bird. How badass can you get a Luchador bird? What else we got up here? Well, I don't want to fight that guy. Okay, I'm going to fight that guy. Maybe I have to. Maybe I have to. Saeed. Well... Let's see who has the better psychic skills, bro. Side shock this boy. Bye. I never really thought I Meowstic mean, was that powerful. Like, I always looked down upon it. It was actually a pretty good Pokemon to have in your party. See a pretty sweet Pokemon. Where does the weekend go, man? Where does the weekend go? Well, last thing I remember was Friday and I was getting out of college. And now I have to wake up in 8 hours and go to 9am and then go to the gym and then stay in the 6. 
And by the end of Monday, I am just absolutely drained. It sucks. Yeah, try to teleport, buddy. That's not gonna happen. But it's just one of those things. Like I, uh, I'm going through. I, I, I was discussing. I, I know this is quite deep for a Pokemon video, but I was discussing with my friend about how I like your perception of the world changes as you grow older. Maybe you're not evolving. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You're evolving in the Asylveon, and I need to get you in a furry move first. Thunderstone! I could evolve it in the Ajolteon, to be honest. It does have a pretty good nature as well, and I don't have an electric type in my team. And I already have a furry type. Let me just check natures. Uh, Pokemon... I don't know the natures off by heart, so I'm going to have to search them, but... I may evolve uh, Eevee here if it does have a plus speed nature. So, mm, it is timid. Timid is increased stat as speed, decreased stat as attack. So that's pretty sweet for a Jolteon because Jolteon's main stat is speed. So I know a lot of people wanted me to use Sylveon, but unfortunately, I already have a furry type in my team and I really have no use for a straight up furry type. So with that being said and with that being done, Give me the Thunderstone, Eevee, let's evolve you into a Jolteon. I don't really use Jolteon much, uh, I use it in competitive play, but other than that I really don't use it in like story mode. It does have a 130 base speed, which is absolutely insane, probably going to be one of the fastest Pokemon on my team. That looks pretty awesome, look at that, it's so good. There we go. Epic. I honestly think Jolteon is one of the better looking evolutions. Alright, let's continue here. Bring it on, buddy. Adults are busy, apparently, my friends. Adults are busy. busy. An electric. Black Trike. I remember, you know, first encountering this guy on the same route as the Trick Room dude. The Trick Room dude on the original one. The original Ruby Sapphire and Emerald. I think, out of all the Pokemons, a lot of people say they had the most fun with Gold and Silver because they were young. And obviously, uh, Krogunk. Uh, Krogunk is... I have completely forgotten. It's Poison. I'm actually just going to quickly look it up here because... Fighting a poison. Um, but I, uh, I honestly think, you know, a lot of people say, uh, what's it? What's the name of that one? Golden Silver, so, so, their favorite generation Pokemon. I honestly think my favorite is Ruby Sapphire and Emerald, just because, not because like, I, I don't think Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald is the better game. I honestly think Gen Six is the best. Game in terms of metagame and how everything looks and plays out, but Ruby Sapphire and Emerald for me holds the most nostalgia just because I was mature enough, not mature enough, but I was old enough to actually understand the mechanics of the game. And you know, I, I actually played the entire thing when I came out, had the gay, I got everything in the game, all the TMs, all that jazz. So for me, that was that was especially important. Um, Whereas when I was playing Pokemon Gold and Silver, I, re I I played it, but I didn't really go too deep into it. Like, I literally just used all the legendary Pokemon to fight. Whereas when I was, like, maybe 14 or 13, I actually had a little bit more, you know, sense to me. So, it was pretty sweet. Another game that you guys may remember is, I don't know if anybody remembers this, Barmy. Do you remember the Pokemon trading card game? Game for the Game Boy? It was basically where you played and you had to go around and defeat all these gyms. It was honestly pretty sweet. I really enjoyed that. What? Badoo is a Valvine? Two evolutions in one video. We are putting together quite the team here. I'm not gonna lie. Quite the team. Rosariad. Roselia evolves in the Rosariad. Rosary is actually a, quite a good Pokemon to have in your team as well. 
I want to get her up to like level 37 before I do Evolver because I don't think Roserade actually learns any moves. But in Generation 6, she got a pretty pretty decent buff, didn't she? Yeah, she, she got a buff in. What did she get a buff in? Yeah, she got a buff in defense. That's about it. Because I was just looking at that there. Oh, we have another battle. Hey. Yeah. Well, that took it long enough. Tomiko. I know there's a, a manga character called Tomiko. Um, manga character... Hajime no Weepo. That's all I remember. That's all I remember. I really just don't find like I have a lot less downtime lately. And I don't know why, because... I feel like I feel like I have a lot of time, but it just disappears in the midair, you know? Kinda sucks. Charge beam. That'd be a pretty good move to have. Uh Especially as I like Covet. Charge is probably a better idea because it's special attack orientated. There we go. Hippopotamus. Go. Uh Roselia is probably the better choice. Roselia, this is your first time in battle. Don't die. That would be fantastic if you didn't die. Let's go. I've noticed there is some frame rate dropping in Pokemon X and Y. But I assume I would be fixed if I got a patch. I actually went into Game the other day, the UK Game Retailer. And they are... Uh, they have demo units set up at the PS4 and the Xbox. I don't think you can do much of Trap Inch. Uh, they have P demo units. I was just feeling the controllers and stuff. The PS4 controller feels really small. I don't know why. It just feels feel really small. Um, but yeah, it, it's comfortable. Like a lot of the, both of the controllers are actually quite small. But they're comfortable enough. I, I honestly have no desire to get a console. Like, I honestly think my best purchase this generation has been my 3DS. And I know a lot of people are going to laugh at that. But there's so many good games in the 3DS. Like, it was a really slow start. But now you're starting to get the quality first party titles coming out. Pin Missile. You can learn that, buddy. That bottom pass is quite good. If you get your speed up with, like, I don't know, Swift or Double Edge. Double Edge is cool, man, but... I mean, Jol Jolteon is not a physical attacker. Screw it, there's no one... No, just take my Swift. I'll have Double Edge for, like, situations where I need to do it. Tomago is dead. Um, like, in the 3DS at the start had literally no good games, but there are so many good games out now for it. I mean, you got Kid Icarus, you got Fire Emblem. Honestly, if you, I, know, I know a lot of you guys, like... I was honestly the same. I had never really played a Fire Emblem game before, but I picked up Fire Emblem Awakening just because of the reviews it got, and that game is so fantastic. Like, if you have not played Fire Emblem Awakening on a 3DS, please do yourself a favor and go and get pick it up. It's like, it's a mature game. It has really good soundtrack and really good art, and it's a technical sort of uh, turn-based strategy game. Really, really good. Really, really good. I really re recommend it to anybody out there who, uh, who wants something to sink their time into? Let's head on up here. Off he goes. What is this, Serena? That's all you have to say to me, is that? Well, it said that we're gonna go to Route 10. But yeah, you got Kid Ergus, Fire Emblem Awakening, you got the Mario 3D Land. You know, you got the Pokemon X and the Y. You got this, the, the new Zelda is really good, honestly. One of the best Zeldas, in my opinion. Lucario shows up again. One of the best Zeldas, in my opinion, of all the Zeldas, not just the handhelds. Like, A Link Between Worlds has been fantastic. You have to fight her? What the hell? Why am I fighting a freaking gym leader at this point? I have no idea. Damn it. Well, Lucario is still in fighting as far as I'm aware, isn't it? So it should be weak to Psychic. Or not. But I got a Psychic anyway. Let's 
Stop. Decent. That power up punch is dangerous, though. I need to get rid of you as soon as possible. Bye. Die. See ya. But, uh, but, 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 but. I've said but a lot, hasn't I? What else I got here? I mean, you've got Ocarina of Time 3D there if you want to play that. A lot of good games, though. Like, one of the. Honestly, I can't list all the games, but. Some really good titles, so I, I would, like, recommend anybody who hasn't got one way to pick it up. Quagsire, Mud Bomb. On a Lucario for. Mud Bomb Grind. Yeah, it is. Is it good? Oh, wow. Here it speeds me. What's base speed? 90. I think it's Quagsire's very slow. I didn't kill him. Go for another mud bomb. Dead. Thirty-three. I'll get rid of Worry Seed because Toxic Specs is actually really good to have when you're facing someone. You get Toxic Specs and Specs up. Surprisingly, you defeated Dream Leader and she doesn't give you a badge. So I'm back before I was rudely interrupted by all of my housemates, guys. Tragic, I know, but I'm back now at least. Let's go and get in another tree dump today. Oh, uh, he uses his body, spirit, mind. Uh, right, let's use a... Yawn? I didn't mean to do that, but I'll take it. Well, you can have a light screen all you want, buddy. You're gonna fall asleep now, so it's probably best to get trap in shit though, just to dig for that third damage. Ow. Good night, sweet prince. Wow! Well, I guess Solusis does have a pretty weak defense, so I guess that counts. Siglyph, it's... Have any electric type moves? Uh, you actually have... Charge Beam, yeah, we'll use that. Get that out of there. So I'll go for a Charge Beam and see what that does. Looks pretty cool. No! Who are we gonna get out to beat you up, buddy? Jolteon, oh! If only we had an electric cave move, that would be awesome. Uh, I guess we can do a... Uh, double edge, why not? Oh, so close. Hold on. Hold on. Finish it off with a pin mess all buddy. Bye. I wish I could learn an electric camera move, that would be awesome. Talk a tick. Psychic Emmanuel has been defeated. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, any Pokemon? I wanna get one Pokemon. Have we been here before? What route is this? 11? No, we have not caught a Pokemon on Route 11 yet. I'll pick up that berry, why not? Who we got up front? Mare stick. I'll take that. Let's see. Who we get here? Who is our encounter for Route number 11? Who we got? Who we got? We got a... Dedenin. Dedene. Dedene. Not sure. Anyway, I always, you know, there's always a lot of Pikachu clones in these games, isn't there? You got Pachirisu, you got Dandene, you got Pulse, Pulsal and Minim, you got Pikachu, you got Pikachu, you got Minim, or not Minim, sorry, you got Meryl, who was the original. Uh, I guess Charge Room probably won't kill it. 
Yeah, Charmin actually did like nothing to it. Good night, sweet sprints. I don't want to kill it, so... Is there anything I can do that probably won't kill it? I'm going to send it Rosalia and uh, hit it with like Absorb or something. But it is ground electric, isn't it? So I'd rather not kill it, but we'll see. Yeah, that'll do. We'll throw a ball at it now and hope that we get something. Let's see if we can catch it. One, two, three. Boom, easy. A, B, C, easy as one, two, three. Do, re, me, A, B, C, baby, you and me. Thanks very much, guys. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll give him my nickname. Wonderlock, his name is. Get that up and running. Booyah, 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 booyah. Well, there we are. I don't want to fight her. Oh my gosh. The battle girl wants to fight. You want to fight, battle girl? I'll give you a fight. Me and Fu. Okay, bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Here, bottle girl. I hate you with side shock. You dead. Bye bye. See ya. That's it. You're gone. I saw a picture on Reddit the other day of people did custom art for, uh, you know, Link and Mario and stuff. It'd be kind of cool if you could battle those guys in game. Imagine that. Mega Evolution Guru. I might give him a visit. If you move your thing around, you can actually move the Holocaust. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to end today's episode here. But first off, I want to get the Wonder Trade done. I will see if my adventure. There we go. Connecting to the internet. <whistles> Here we are, ready? Yes, I will do a wonder trade. And we're gonna give away our DNA. Our electric furry. I actually forgot that was part furry. Off you go, buddy. Off you go. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Well, I guess the bright side is we've got a lot of crappy Pokemon on our box, so we can call duplicate claws on that. But at the same time, there is a lot of crappy Pokemon in Pokemon. Surprisingly, there is no Rattatas available for capture yet, though, so... We got someone from the Netherlands? Ooh! Hatch Opar, please. So I assume Jolanda here would be someone who is hatching Pokemon a lot, so hopefully we'll get a level 1 decent Pokemon. You know, let me see what we get. Who we get? Who we get? Who we get? Who we get? Ooh, a Lavatar. Ooh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Tranator in my team? Hell yeah. I'll take that any day of the week. Any day of the week. Right, let me just do... I don't want to do another one to trade, but I want to just connect and then have to look at the stats and stuff because I can't be bothered going to a PC box. Jolly Guts. Oh my gosh! That is bred to perfection. Bred to perfection. Let me just check out Jolly Nature's uh, Pokemon. Pokemon Nature's. So Jolly Nature is. Do, 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 do. Increase speed, decrease special attack. That's okay. I mean. Uh, Tyranitar isn't it's just a really over, it's really a big attacker, but Dragon, now that's a really good Tyran. I actually might use that Lavatar. I actually might switch it like, I don't know. Who is better, Trap Inch or 
you know, Tranatar versus Flygon. That is the question. I mean, we're not really going to use... Ah, but yeah, Toga Slash is... Or, sorry, you know, Earth Slash on Toga. The final evolution of her. I don't know. Ah! But that Lavatar was a really, really good trade. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. Anyway, no, guys, I will catch you next time. Join me tomorrow for another episode. And I'll see you then. Paul, signing out. Bye-bye.